introduce you to Faith Woods. Faith, thank you for joining us. Would you welcome Faith Woods this morning? <laughs> Faith comes from, she comes from Mission Partners International, which is an organization 25 years and beyond. You guys have been working in the city of London. That's right. You're, you're a local resident. Tell us about some of the challenges that you guys as an organization have faced even just since uh, the activity in Ukraine has uh, done what it's done. You yourself, you've, you've gone close, you've traveled. Yes, I was there in March in Poland and I was also there in June uh, in Krakow. It's really close to the, like the border of Ukraine. Um, I was there and I saw the refugees and the crisis and everything that's happening and it's really easy. Let, let's take a look at the picture of this is what war looks like. And I'm sure, sure none of you are surprised. You've probably seen things like this on the news. My heart is for people who are suffering, people who have lost their houses, who have lost their homes, who have lost their families even. Um, so when I look at the truth of a situation like that, I like to look with God's eyes. I like to see the truth that God sees. And I know that beyond all of that, what God sees is people's hearts. So that's where we focus our, our heart, our attention, um, our resources into changing the lives of people. So to talk us through a little bit more of, of what you guys have, have been able to do in response to the crisis. Well, of course, when you're in um, a crisis situation like that, a lot of what you have to do is humanitarian. Um, and we had, to, we had to do that because people were suffering, right? So the first response is people have no food, they have no heat. All of those things are things that we had to do. And because of not just your church, but other people who sewed into us, I think we were able to provide over 20,000 meals to uh, families. We've always really had a heart for investing some into infrastructure. We want to make sure that they also have some food for tomorrow. So we have a partner in central Ukraine um, where we have given uh, greenhouses. So these greenhouses, um, they look after them. They're their heart is for doing this and, and investing in their community. So I know that the greenhouses that we've given them over the last number of years, we were told by this uh, pastor named Alexander that this fed people all year long. Um, we made a lot of investments with firewood. We were able to get, um, you know, heaters for people so they could run them while they had electricity. And these are for individuals. And even we managed to put in a wood-fired boiler. You see it there. That's in a church building in Borspol, Ukraine. Um, it's a fairly large building and it's two stories. And we were able to heat that entire building all winter long. And that church they used that to bring people off the street who were cold it was a warming center they fed them from their greenhouses and they shared the hope of Christ and yes people are finding salvation because people are understanding that God cares and that people care for them well I want to introduce you to Pastor Alexi hello dear Vera Andre Alan and everybody from uh, team mission partner international Canada just right now, we're standing in house in a uh, town, uh, name of this town, Kremenets. And uh, we have time uh, for meeting with this man, and I will give him uh, a time for speaking. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, uh, Valery, I'm from Donetsk region. I want to say thank you uh, because just really I, I'm uh, with my family losing all car, house, garage, all clothes. I just been we are run away. We was on some small clothes and sleepers, and now uh, we are here and many people is helping for us with food, with clothes, and Alexei and Vale to help you for us. I want to say thank you, dear friends, for your supporting and helping for Ukraine yeah, people, for refugees, uh, and we want to say thank you what you're standing with Ukraine just right now, because it's a um, very difficult time, war time, and many people have troubles, difficulties, problems, and sufferings. Thank you so much for your love and caring. God bless you.